Okay, welcome back, and we're going to move on now. Just from that front view, well, looks like we're a little bit, a little bit heavy at the back of the eye there. Let's move it up to where the reference is. Maybe go through the center here as well. Move that forward and come down and grab these ones. Bring them down a bit. As you can see, there's a lot of pushing and pulling of. Uh, vertices just to get the shape that you're looking for and it's a bit time consuming but well worth it in the end now we'll just go to a right view and we'll tidy this up from this angle looks like we're a little bit heavy out here on the side let's bring that in and bring it down a little bit bring this guy down And that's pretty close to what we're looking for from that angle and all around not too bad and notice we've kept it quite flat at the front and there's a reason for that and just before we move on to the eyes we're looking a little bit a little bit strange through here so we'll just grab these these verts and just pull them down the neck a little bit same with these guys just pull them back and then down And maybe even these ones will pull, pull them down just out slightly and down and forward and that'll just help that curve from happening through there and pull those guys in a bit there we go okay now with the eye sockets what we're going to do is first we're going to grab this vertice in the center vertex and we're going to remove the vertex now if we go into poly mode and just select that front poly what we're going to do is use the inset we're going to slide it in quite a bit out there we'll click ok to that and then we're just going to drag it back in the model a little bit further and that's a very simple basic eye socket we could probably put a little bit more detail inside so if we just switch off the mesh smooth here if you select that edge in the inside the eye there switch off the cage so you can see which one I mean all of this one here and then use the ring tool it's selected all of the Verts inside or the edges inside and if we select connect click OK we'll just switch our mesh smooth back on and just with those selected let's slide them forward a little bit about there is fine and we can see we've lost our shape a bit and we'll just switch off our mesh smooth for now we'll go into edge grab this edge here and just drag it out we'll grab this edge and drag it out just to uh, just to give us that that circular feel we'll grab this one and move it out this is inside the eye socket so it won't really matter just paste to, to keep it not neat and while we're in this low poly version it just it helps to see where some of the errors are this one can probably come in a bit this one here can definitely come in a bit okay so we'll switch our mesh smooth back on see how it looks and that's looking pretty good that's going to be fine for our eyes okay so we might as well quickly put some eye sockets uh, some eyeballs in there so we'll just go back to our creation panel click on sphere go to a top view slide right down We'll go into wireframe mode and we'll just click 
out here somewhere. That's probably about fine. We'll come across to our proper mesh. And then we'll go to our right view. And we'll slide that up. Out there. Sort of center it in the eye. And we'll get our, bring up our sphere and we'll increase the radius not too much that's probably about fine rotate it around a bit it's got to go back and that's looking pretty good now with the eyeball in the socket we can tidy up our mesh a little bit just go into poly mode and actually edges will probably help us a bit more switch on our cage and we want this edge here, slide it in, this edge over here, slide that in, edge at the bottom, just bring that up a little, and you can see where I'm going, just trying to find a good feel for it, and that's looking pretty good. So we can grab our sphere, we'll just switch its colour to uh, a light creamy colour for now. And we'll hold down the shift button and drag it across until it lines up in the other eye. Copy, done. We'll just call that I underscore left. And this one will be I underscore right. Okay, so we'll move on now to the shell. And to do that, we're actually just going to hide these objects. So if you select them all, we'll just grab our snail, which is still box 01, and we'll call it body. And we'll select all of, all of those objects and free selection. Oop. Hide selection. Make that. Okay, from a top view, let's come in. We're going to create another box. And we want to drag it out to the size of that circle there. A little bit bigger is fine. And drag it up. And then we'll just go to a front view. We'll center it back a bit. And we'll move it up. We'll go into the settings here. We just want to increase the height until we get up to the top here. And while we're here, we'll just we'll put a mesh smooth on top. Just helps us to proportion the we'll, we'll proportion our shape with mesh smooth in mind. We'll click all our lengths and height segments, width segments back to one. And you can see with it at one, we've literally got a circle there. If I go to mesh smooth and uh, make it two iterations, we've literally got a circle there. So what we can do is increase the width a little bit. We can increase the height a bit. We can drag it down to the base. Make sure it all sort of lines up. Okay, and back in box mode here, we'll give it some segments. Uh, we'll give it one in the uh, in the width segment. In the height segment, we'll give it one. We'll just switch to a top view. And it looks like we have to just amend the length a little bit. That's probably going to be fine. Now the length, we actually need two segments, like so. Or well, three, three segments, which will give us our two lines through the middle. Okay, so now if we add our edit poly and go into our vertice mode, switch on our cage, we can start to get our shape back. And so using the same process as before, we'll select these, bring them down, 
scale them in grab all of all of these and move them out maybe scale them a little bit more looks pretty good same down here we could actually make life a bit easier for us here um, just select all of the edges through the center like so and connect now we can grab all of the polys at the bottom here and delete and add our symmetry modifier and Y flip Oop. okay so now we can go into our edit edit poly there and shape it the way we need it we'll probably bring those ones out a bit we'll go through the center here bring these ones in about there go through this bottom bring that in we're starting to get that shape that we're looking for we'll probably bring these ones out a bit that's looking pretty good to our reference now we'll go to our front view we have a square box that's okay um, I'm just going to come out of this and rotate 180 degrees reason for that is that I'm looking at it from front view and all my meshes on the back there because we using the symmetry mode we cut off the back instead of the uh, cut off the front instead of the back so this will help us a little bit to shape our shape our shell so let's grab these ones up here on the top corners move them down something like that scale them in maybe move them back up slightly and these guys down here same move them up and this guy's probably fine where it is okay now we'll grab this vertice in the middle and just drag it out and it's going to give us a bit of smoothness there in fact what we can do if we just go to a front view so undo that last move go through the center and what we want to do is scale on both axes here and just scale that out like so and just while we're in the front view scale it just on the one axis back in a bit and you'll see that that's given us a bit of a nicer curve there and we can use a little bit of edge work we'll just grab that one edge there and just bring it up a bit same with this edge back here just bring it up a bit and how we're looking we'll bring this one up a bit as well and just grab this vertice sticking out here and bring it down and we'll probably do the same with the one at the bottom just bring it up okay now if we go to a right view there you'll see that we've got a vertice that has strayed across the center line and that's bad in symmetry mode so let's bring it back make sure that it's sitting right on that center line and we might as well straighten this one up as well and that's going to work okay we can grab this edge bring that forward a bit and you can see what we're doing we're just getting that shape to feel nice and round through there okay and what we're going to do is grab the vertice all on its own down at the bottom here we'll just go to our right view come in here and we're going to drag it up we can grab this one here 
just drag it down a little bit just keeping an eye on our reference and like that so this is why it pays to have that reference there really helps to maintain everything And that's working pretty well. Let's grab this one here and pull it back a bit. Same with this guy. So it's all about taking that basic square and turning it into a circle using Mesh Smooth. And the more you do this as a technique, the more you'll start to get the process and and how it can be used with square objects to get organic rounded shapes. And I strongly recommend that you practice this technique with just objects that you're familiar with and uh, learn lots of those little tricks that that you can only pick up by practice because 3D is a very fickle beast okay we're looking pretty good there we're going to switch on our body and see how it's working so we're just going to unhide all and that's coming along quite nicely we we'll just go to our front view and we can move our object up slightly We'll see that that's working and we'll just switch the color of it to a brown color. We'll give it a quick render. And there you have our basic 3D model of a snail, albeit a characterized snail, very uh, stylized snail and you can push and pull the verts around and uh, play with the shapes a little bit you can have your antenna longer shorter bigger eyes um, you know put more detail in around the nose around the mouth maybe even put a mouth on the character and we, we may go into that in the in the future when we when it comes time to rig the character we may amend the model a little bit but as you can see if I just uh, unfreeze all Grab our reference and just hide it. Come in here, give it a give it a render. There's our basic 3D snail character. And we've used quite a lot of techniques there to uh, model the character using sub-poly modeling. And basically you need to think of it as as clay modeling where you start with a big chunk of clay and you cut in the detail as opposed to other forms of modeling where you start with um, very primitive uh, flat shapes and then you extrude out all the detail um, from scratch. This is a very rough way of modeling to start with and then you just keep refining, keep refining and what you're left with is, is the shape you're looking for. So bear in mind some of those tips and hopefully in the next tutorial we'll get a chance to rig the character and uh, we'll, we'll do a custom rig for this character. Um, but before we move on to rigging, actually, the next tutorial will be some materials and we'll do some procedural materials and probably a little bit of um, bitmap materials as well. So until next time, bye for now.